Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel and to a Whatcha Warmin' um, video. Um, this is kind of like an empties combined with um, what I've been warming, which technically empties are what I've been warming, so it works out. Um, there's quite a few to get through with um, because it's been a hot minute since I actually did it. Um, uh, and then disclaimer also, I don't have a ton of candles. Um, I did do some spring candle burning, um, but I put those away because we're now into summer, um, summertime, so I have my summer candles out, but I didn't do a lot of burning of those yet because I was working on like the Bring Back My Bar um, fragrances and that sort of thing. So that's why there is only going to be three candles. Um, I'll go ahead and jump into that. Actually, I'll jump into a couple empties that I have that are um, not um, wax or candles. And the first one is the Scentsy Carbar. Carbars are great. They're like um, the scent circles, but they last longer. So scent circles are um, supposed to last like one to two weeks. And then the car bars are like three to four weeks. So this is in the blue grotto scent and it was very nice in my um, SUV. So I did enjoy that in the car bar. And then the other thing I got through is the washer whiffs in the Fiji flower, which was from the summer collection, which may still be available um, I don't think much of the summer collection has sold out besides um, coconut daiquiri in the wax and scent circle. The last time I checked, those were the only two things. There's probably more now because it has been a while since I've checked that. Um, so anyway, washer whiffs, I finished up both of them. The laundry liquid, I still have a ton of. I go through whiffs way quicker than I do everything else in the laundry. Um, because I like a lot of scents in my, so I do like three to four heaping scoopfuls in my load. So it goes through the whiffs very quickly. So this is nice. It was an, it's a nice, um, tropical floral. It's like plumeria, I think is the main floral in it. Well, I'll just put it on the ground. Um, and I'm not huge into Plumeria, but it was nice um, for what it was. I prefer hibiscus if I'm looking for a tropical floral, personally. Okay, on to candles. Blueberry Pie by Bath and Body Works. It's what it says it is. Um, blueberry crust graham cracker type note. And then there's almost, to me, I don't, I can't remember, because this was from last year. I can't remember last year if it had this note or it's just because maybe it's gotten old. Um, but there's kind of a, almost a cheesecake sourness to it as well. And I don't know, I can't remember if it was there last year or not. Um, but other than that, and I don't mind cheesecake scents, I actually do like them, but it just seemed kind of weird in this. That's why I don't remember if it was supposed to be there or not, but uh, the throw on this was very nice at an eight. So that's blueberry pie. And then we have from Goose Creek, warm and welcome. This one was a bit on the sooty side and I trimmed the wicks. It's just the way it is, but I love the scent so much. It's so pretty. It's a marshmallowy, musky, cozy type of scent. Um, I think the name is very, very good um, kind of representation of what it is. It's just really pretty. It's a really pretty scent. I had it in a wax bar because um, I do love it in my bedroom that I'm out of it. Uh, hopefully, I'll have to check out their website and see if they still have it available because I love the scent so much. So that's warm and welcome. And then the last one is from Homeworks, Berry Trifle. I'm just trying to finish this one. I've had it for two years now. I'm just trying to finish it. Um, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm getting close. So probably my next burn, I will be able to um, finish it off. But this is raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, 
blackberries, vanilla, pound cake, and Grand Marnier, Marnier sauce, or however you say that. Um, this one kind of also kind of has a cheesecake-y um, tone to me. And again, it might be just because it's old. I don't know. Okay, next up, 3 million wax bars. <laughs> we have from Goose Creek Cabin in the Woods. Love this one so much. I have it in um, a candle, actually, too. Oh, it's so nice. It's a woodsy mixture. Cedar. It's sweet. Oh, so, so good. So good. Um, also from Goose Creek is Island Bliss. This is um, coconut, papaya, guava, you know, a tropical fruit type mixture. It is a nice one too. Um, I next, also Goose Creek, I'll just get through the Goose Creek, is uh, Blueberry Limeade. This one is nice. I really like this one. Oh, it's fresh, refreshing and bright blueberry, and you do get the lime in it as well. Makes it a little tartar. Um, from Super Tarts, Vendor Wax, Cedric. This is banana, whipped cream, pie crust, almond macaroons, and cuddle corn. Um, I noticed this is also from two years ago. It's not as strong as it used to be. Um, it, start, it is soy, and I know the scent doesn't last as long in soy. Um, so I could barely smell it, but I have three more to get through and then I'll be done with it. Next, oh, I love the scent. This is from, who is this from? Get Fictional, Elijah. He's my TV boyfriend uh, from the originals. <laughs> so I mainly got it when I originally got it because that's who it is. And I was like, ooh, I, wanna, I want my house to smell like Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's spice and pepper, woodsy musk, and caramel. So good. This is a really good bedroom scent. So, so good. If that's what Elijah really smells like, I'm here for it. Okay. Now, like I said, this is a mixture of empties and ones that I'm working on for the summer. Oh boy, I finished oh boy. This is so good. It's grapefruit and I think lemon and a vanilla. Oh, so nice. I really love this one. Unfortunately, it is a, um, um, it, you, it loses the scent quickly. Um, that's the only downside to it, but I definitely would buy that again. Uh, this was from the Fantasy Wax Collection last year, like last March or something like that. I don't know. Unicorn Kisses. This one's okay. Um, I did not add it. It's a kind of a generic berry lemonade -y scent. I finished it up in um, my downstairs bathroom, actually. Um, this one is from the Catching Z's collection, Snuggle Up. This was probably my favorite out of all of them. It's a lavender type fragrance, um, but I didn't like it enough to add it to my club. And then this one was from the Find Your Happy Collection. It is Showered in Flowers. This is a pretty, a pretty scent. It's floral, yet it's kind of um, fruity at the same time. Very bright, happy scent. A lot of people have compared it to Lucky in Love, which is my absolute favorite scent. And it, it is that same type of vibe, but I wouldn't say it's a, a dupe for that one. Um, so that's Showered in Flowers. Then we have one of my all-time favorite scents, Camu Camu. This is a tropical citrusy type fragrance. Um, not sure what Camu Camu really smells like, the real fruit. But if it smells like this, I would love it. So that's that one. I finished from um, the Valentine's collection this year. This is Best Berry, half of the duo. This one was okay, um, not my favorite. I loved the Petal Pals, but that one I could live without. This one, uh, Catching Z's, again, lights out. I think this was the one that was the Jasmine. Yeah, it's kind of got Jasmine and 
sandalwood or something in it. Um, it was nice. Again, uh, none of those really stood out to me to where I wanted to get them forever. This one though, love, love, love. Palm trees and ocean breeze. This was May's scent of the month. This is a strong one. This one's great. So I finished one and then I was working on another. So, so good. This one is currently in my club. I'm not sure if it's going to stay there just because I have a ton of bars still from my um, scent of the month kit. So I might get rid of it to make room for other things because the um, fall winter catalog is coming, which means in July, um, in or it, it will come in August. And so July is the final month to get some of the fall and winter fragrances. So I may be adding some of those fragrances to my club. And so to make room for it, I may end up taking that one out. Okay, the scent end of the month for July, I know I completely spaced um, about doing that video. It's been hectic, hectic um, summer so far, but the scent stargazing, so good. This is a beautiful bedroom fragrance. It is like jammy time, but elevated um, without the lavender. It's like the florals in jammy time, like freesia. I know in this it's like iris and cotton blossoms. Oh, so pretty. So it's a pretty elevated type of jammy time, um, minus the lavender. And instead you get like a sandalwood in it too, a musk, a, a vanilla marshmallow-ness to it as well. It smells kind of similar to my beloved Fuzzy Blanket, which is in my club, um, except Fuzzy Blanket is even sweeter than this one, um, plus has that um, lavender note, whereas this one doesn't really um, have that astringent lavender in it really at all, but it's very pretty. And um, it is a bedroom scent though, it's not really open concept worthy, but lovely highly recommend it okay next this was in my club for a long time hibiscus water this was last year's um summer collection one of the scents so pretty hibiscus apple and like water note it's like a, a pretty perfumey type of fragrance lovely loved it but again i'm trying to make room for things um so that i've i've recently gotten rid of that one. Okay, I got this one from the clearance section last year, Star Fruit and Pear Nectar. This is a nice one. It's a tropical fruit, but you do get that pear in it as well. And there's like a floral, a floral blossom note to it too. This was last year's Bring Back My Bar in June. I love this one. This was one of my favorites and it was in my club for a while. Southern Evening. It's a jasmine, musky, amber, beautiful, sultry type fragrance. It's really pretty. This one is no longer available. I retired last spring, summer. Yeah, last year, spring, summer was the last time it was available. Toasted Marshmallow. This is nice, similar to Bonfire Beach. Um, but instead of a salty sea air type of feeling, you get like a malted quality in this one. Um, kind of caramel too. Toasted marshmallow. I just got this one. Blue Grotto. It's nice. It has, I know it has blossom. I, or I think it has like, it's got to be like orange blossom. I'm not a fan of, of orange blossom like neroli. I don't like that. So I think there's some sort of blossom like that in this too, besides the the orange and the other citrus type of things that's in it. That's just kind of throwing me off a little. So it's not a favorite, but I did want to try it. Like I said, I did use it in the car bar in my SUV and I did like it in that. I liked it in that way better than I like it in this, but I will finish it or give it to my daughter to finish. 
finished Mahalo Coconut. This is a good fresh coconut. Um, I think there's coconut, pineapple. I don't know. It doesn't smell like a pina colada or anything like that. I think, oh, it's like lay. It's like flowered lay, violet, coconut, stuff like that. It's a very fresh, um, feminine, tropical fragrance. And this was actually in the Mother's Day body care line, and I loved it in that. Uh, Mandarin and Mango Nectar. This is a nice mango-y, um, slight citrus scent. That's from the um, summer collection this year. I think it's available, but I'm not absolutely positive. This scent has been around forever and I finally got around to trying it. Sunkissed Citrus. Very nice mixed citrus scent. Um, it's a good one. Oh. From the Bring Back My Bar, Jet Set Go. This is still available. There's only a couple more days or, well, I'm filming this on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday will be the last day. Hopefully I can get this video up before then. If not, I'm sorry. But this is a nice tropical, there's like papaya, I think in it. It's pretty, I really like it. Um, it's not the strongest. I have put it in my club. This is one of the ones I did put in. So it is in my club for now, but probably just get it to get a bar or two. So that is Jet Set Go. Then we have from the regular catalog, Squeeze the Day. This is a yummy lemon vanilla combo. Very nice. From Bring Back My Bar as well, Candy Crave. I really like this one. This is like a cotton candy blue raspberry scent meets a touch of body care. It's like 75 to 80% cotton candy, like authentic cotton candy. And then the other percentage is that body care note. So more than like sugar. Sugar was like 50-50 to me, body care and the sweet, um, authentic sugary quality. This one's a little more on the candy side. Okay, then we have sea salt and avocado. This is a, a fresh spa, sweet green type fragrance. Amazon Rain, this is Jasmine. And I think Mango, another one that's similar to, um, along the same lines, is fresh and fruity um, and spa-like. Then we have Coconut Lemongrass. This is one of those cleanse the airs after you have um, cooked something heavy type fragrance. I finished watermelon tangerine. I've come to find out I'm not a huge watermelon um, home fragrance fan anymore, but I do, I did like it with this. The tangerine helped to brighten it up um, for me. So it was nice. I'm not sure if I would get it again, but it was nice. All right, let's see. We're getting close to the end. Okay, Lucky Star Fruit. This was from the International Wax Collection last year. This was probably my second favorite. My first favorite was um, Pacific Sandalwood, which I did have in my club. Oh, this one's nice though. Um, star Fruit, I guess, is what it is. It's a tropical scent. Tropical fruit scent. Okay, Moana Spirit of Montanui. This is like the tropical version of aloe water and cu aloe water and cucumber, right? That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> My head. I'm sorry, guys. My head's going all over the place. Um, this is so nice. It's so nice. Unfortunately, it is lighter. Um, but I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. I did have it in my club. I think I'm getting rid of it though. Like I said, I got to make a room. Okay. Also first time trying this butter pecan. This is a buttery, nutty, heavy fragrance. You got to love 
those gourmand type fragrances to really like this. I do enjoy it. It's one of those I have to be in the mood for. This is more of a fall scent to me. This is, think along the lines of Bath and Body Works, um, pumpkin pecan waffles, that type of really heavy type of gourmand scent. That's what you get with this one. So it is good. I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just not really what I want to smell right now in the middle of the 110 degree weather that we are getting. Um, so I'll save it for the fall. Coconut Daiquiri, this was the one, the only one I think that's still, that sold out from the summer collection. It's okay, not my favorite. The banana is very strong in that one and it's that Laffy Taffy banana. So I'm good with the one. I won't, I won't get any more. Another classic, Welcome Home. This is a po spicy potpourri type fragrance that um, you kind of smell in craft stores or, you know, little boutiques. This is that type of fragrance. So that's Welcome Home. Very cinnamony and potpourri-ish. Satin Sheets. This is Sandalwood and Vanilla. That's pretty much what it is. Just Sandalwood and Vanilla. It's nice. I like to have a little more depth to my fragrances though, but it's nice for what it is. It's it's a strong performer. It's really good. Okay, Appealing Apple, which is this month's, yeah, this month's uh, scent of the month. This is apples and apple blossoms. And I think there was pear in it, if I remember right. This is a prettier, more perfumey type of apple than compared to um, Johnny Appleseed. Um, this is a more feminine version of it, I would say. So that's Appealing Apple, it is still available. And then the final one, this is still in my club, but I am thinking of getting rid of it. Beach Daisy, this is so pretty. It's one of those fresh, um, fruity floral type fragrances. It is so pretty, but I have a ton of bars already. So I think I'm probably going to remove it from my club. I will be doing an edit video for you guys so you can see um, what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, what I'm adding from um, the spring summer catalog. Um, so anyway, <laughs> the struggle is real, but I cannot have three million bars in my club. So I have to, I have to make edits, even if, it, even if it hurts to do it. So anyway, so there you go, you guys. Thanks for spending some time with me. My website is in the description for you. Um, so many of these bars are still available. Um, but again, since the, the, what is it called? Bring Back My Bar will go away on Wednesday. I'm hoping I can get this video up today. Um, so you have time to know that. <laughs> anyway, if not, I'm sorry. But thank you guys for spending some time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.